Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. We have a special guest in the building. We have Brother Josh. Brother Josh, introduce yourself to the fans that are watching out there. Uh, what's up, y'all? Just want to thank you for watching. Um, as he said, my name is Brother Josh. I'm the youth minister at Agape Love Church in Middletown, New York, and I'm just happy to be here. Great, you guys are blessed by this video. Brother Josh is not new to the channel. I've had him in two of my videos, and today we're going to be tackling the topic of peer pressure. We're just going to be discussing how to handle peer pressure. Now, to begin the video, I always like to give you guys a definition. Now, peer pressure is the influence from members of one's peer group. Now, we all have experienced peer pressure, and, and you either handle it in a good way or you handle it in a bad way. And today we're going to be discussing the best way to handle peer pressure. And Brother Josh, we have a question for you today. The question of the day is, have you experienced peer pressure and how did you handle it? I really have experienced peer pressure on multiple occasions. Uh, the first memorable time, I would say I did not handle it well and I ended up falling into that temptation. So this was really when like jeweling and vaping and stuff was really taking off. I was in ninth grade. And it was like the cool thing to just sneak these devices into school and just to go smoke in the bathroom and stuff like that. Um, and I remember once I went to the bathroom, like on a break between classes and these kids were in there doing it and they pressured me into that. Like, oh, come on, Josh, don't be a chump, stuff like that. And I ended up doing it. Um, and I have the lung capacity of like a 150 year old and it just didn't go well. Um, but yeah, that was one time that I definitely fell into peer pressure and I went the wrong way. And I did not stand up for myself. I did not stand my ground and I ended up falling into it. Things changed later on, but my first initial time, that's what happened. I was kind of like in a similar situation. I was in pressure. So basically, I was in the bathroom with like two of my friends and this guy that I knew. And like, he had to do with him. He was thinking that my two friends tried it. He didn't say nothing to me. And I kind of felt pressure. They didn't say nothing to me, but I kind of like felt pressure. I was like, I was about to do it. But then some told me not to do it. And this is before they started making the commercials of like how bad it is. It's like, this was before that. It's like, this is last year. Like and stuff like that, and I didn't do it. And I'm telling you, I'm so glad I didn't do it because then, like I think, was that a month or two, couple of weeks later, that's when they start making the commercials and, they, and you felt like how bad it was. I was like, who thank God I didn't try that. So the next question is, what is the best way to handle peer pressure? The best way to handle peer pressure is to pray on it. Because God always wants us to come to him doing anything. Whenever trials, tribulations you have, he wants us to come to him. And once you pray on it, God will either show you a way to say no or just show you a way to exit that situation so you don't fall into the temptation to do something that you may regret or just feel like it's very wrong. You know, that's not your character. You don't do that. What's your thoughts on it? Um, it's kind of... But um, I know that there's a scripture in the Bible that says that the Lord always gives us a way out of the negative situation of the temptation. And that truly is him. So I can think of another time that I was falling into peer pressure. And it was when I was surrounded by a bunch of my cousins and uncles and stuff. And they were all smoking weed. Um, and it was something that they were really trying to pressure me into to doing. So then I just thought about it. Why not turn the situation over to the Lord? So in the midst of the pressure, in the midst of the mass and me, stuff like that, I just said, Lord, uh, please just make a way for me to stand my ground here and for me not to fall into that temptation. And he worked it out and I didn't end up doing it. So just to pray on it, to talk to God about what you're experiencing, and he truly will make a way out of it. Just use that way out that he gives us. I agree with that so much. Just Another way to kind of like limit peer pressure is to surround yourself with people who know your limits, know what you can and cannot do. And let that person be a real friend. Because a real friend wants the best for you. And they know they know your limits. They know what you can and cannot do and won't ask you to do certain things. Now, we all have people around us that do bad things but aren't bad people. So, like, once that person, like, say if you probably got a friend that smoke weed. But because that's your real friend, they know they know your limitations. They know what you can and cannot do. They they won't even ask you a question like that. So just surround yourself with real friends, people that know your limits, what you can and cannot do. And that kind of prevents it. It don't stop it because peer pressure comes from everywhere, but kind of wait to like limit it because, you know, it's not all of us can be strong. Just surround yourself with real people. Um, I'll say I definitely do agree with what you're saying because that's something I learned as well. Um, what your friends try to pressure you into doing will ultimately depend on who your friends are. So just make sure that you're surrounding yourself with good, godly people, people who want the best for you. Um, I had to completely change my friend group from the people who I used to surround myself with. So now instead of people trying to pressure me to try drugs and stuff like that, trying to drink and stuff like that, I have friends who are 
uh, pushing me forward into going what God has called me to do. So maybe going out and ministering and seeing you like that. So I just wanted to piggyback off of what you say, say I agree with that and definitely make sure you're surrounding yourself with the type of people who will push you into the right things. At the end of this video, I'll just like to give you guys a script that's coming all the way from Psalms 46 verses 1. God is our refuge and strength always ready to help us in times of trouble and that's a very true scripture once you come to god he's going to help he's going to always show you a way to come out of stuff that's it for the video guys i really hope that you got something to get out of this if you're dealing with peer pressure next time please pray on that god will show you a way to either say no or exit the situation i hope that you guys keep coming back from this video share this with somebody that you think needs this and that's it please like subscribe hey.